I had to pump my gas. But yeah, child, when them grandmas, when them big mamas said move your ass, you moved your ass. You did not play. You didn't play with them and they didn't play with you. You know, and I I know that the grandmothers grandmas got young younger. Grandmothers got younger. However, there are some older grandmothers, like to me, with me and my age, there is a certain level of respect. There's a certain level of dignity. There's a certain level of don't play with me that you do have to display with your your younger kids, your grandkids, you know, and stuff like that. And if they see you flying off the hound all the time, ready to fight every time you turn around and you know, cursing and just ratchet. What do you think kids are going to learn? They got enough in the street learning how to be ratchet. I mean, it just really kind of like, I mean, I don't know. I just really been thinking about just, you know, like the grandmas and the big mamas of yesteryear. And I'm telling you, no, we're not in the old times. But at the same time, you have to live something. My grandma used to say the life you live will speak for you. That so true. Because the life you live is going to speak for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's going to depend on how people treat you as well. You know, like grandma honey would just look at you. And you knew to get yourself together. Like I was telling y'all. And like you know the stories they used to tell the you know, of, of their time and of coming up and, and and you didn't know like their uncles and you know, stuff like that. But the, when you heard them talk about and, and the stories, you can envision, envision those people and those times and we don't tell stories anymore. You know, we don't, we don't tell stories anymore because the kids are so caught up with electronics and this and that. They don't learn wisdom. I learned wisdom from my grandmother. And honey, if you sat down and listened long enough, you're going to learn something today. We can always learn. You're never too big to learn. I learn something new every day. Like, for real. I'm always learning something new. And like, don't be afraid to ask. If you don't know something, ask somebody. I don't, it'd be times I'll be like, yo, I, hey, what's so and so and so and so? Because I don't know. I don't know. It's better for me to say I don't know than opposed to me trying to fake it and you really don't know. But, you know, those of you that, 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 that are of age, grandmas, big moms, and you know what? They produced great harvest. Those big moms, look at us. You know, they produced great harvest. Like my mother, you know, I love my mother dearly. My mother worked a lot. I learned a lot from my mother from working and, you know, being independent and stuff like that. But I learned wisdom from my grandmother and my big mom. And you as well can do the same thing for your grandchildren. You know, for, for somebody else's children. You may not even have kids, but for somebody else's kids. You could do the same thing, the exact same thing. You know, you could be a big mama. And a big mama is just, hey, we got boundaries. Don't step across that line. It's hot over there. Don't touch that. You're going to get burned. Big mamas. They kept, they kept, they fed you information all the time. My grandmother had so many sayings, y'all, and so many, like, I, as a kid, you know, just growing up in the country, my life was good because she she instilled so much richness and joy into my life that if I didn't have, I didn't even know I didn't have. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the, the self-esteem, the my grandmother was like, yo, she was like my cheerleader. It was like a time in my life, y'all, where I was depressed. I was a teenage mother. I was depressed because I felt like I was the worst person in the world. And my grandmother said to me, honey, hold your head up high. I mean, she would, y'all, it were times where I was down in the dump, mentally. 
and she would pick me up out of that dump. You somebody, hold your head up high. Don't look at other people. Honey, get yourself together. Don't feel sorry for yourself. You could do anything. Go out there. I mean, y'all, she, yo, it was like, seriously, seriously. So as a teenage mother, I was depressed because I couldn't get to school sometimes like I wanted to because I had a child. And my grandmother took over, basically, raising my child for me. Like, he would go stay with her Monday through Friday. Y'all, I miss my baby so much. So it, was, it would kill me because this is my oldest son. When I would, I had my son at 15, very young, very young, didn't even know nothing. Listen to your children, y'all. Listen, to, I don't, I don't blame my mom for anything. It was my fault. I was young, but I asked my mom for birth control, and she told me no. She was like, and back then, you know, they didn't, they didn't listen. You know, um, if I give you birth control, that's the same thing as saying that, that you could do it. No, it's not. That was protecting myself. I didn't know, like. I really didn't know much, to be honest. I was a country girl. We moved to the city. And when we moved to the city, which was Raleigh, it was just a lot of stuff that I didn't know as a country girl. You know, I didn't know. But my grandmother, y'all, yo, it would be times I would be crying, honey, upset. Honey, don't cry about it. Pray about it. I mean, those are the things. So as a big mama... Yo, it, it was priceless because she built me to be a strong person. Never let nobody steal your joy. I mean, you know, like, because this joy that I have, the world don't give you joy. The world does not give you joy. The world does not give you peace. My grandma used to always say, honey, there's nothing like peace. And she is so, she was so right. I'm saying... A lot of people didn't get the nurturing from a big mama. A big mama, hey, she puts you on your right path. Really. She she did. She did, y'all. She showed me how to. So as I come on up, you know, my my like I said, my son went to live with my grandmother. Well, he was like he would stay there through the week. He would come home with me on the weekends. And I was so depressed because I missed my baby, y'all. I did. And I, it was times that when I would take him home with me, I just felt that he, the disconnect, you know, because he was with my grandmother, like, all the time. And, but it's funny because even he today displays a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom. And I stayed with my grandmother. My mother and I had issues. We had serious issues. And I love my mom and our issues because I think she was disappointed in me. Because I was so bright, so intelligent, so smart. And she was so disappointed when I got pregnant that she couldn't even deal with me, really, y'all. Like, we were like oil and water. And we just didn't mix at all. And, um... It was, it was, it was just, it was a lot, you know, and I, and I'll tell more, I'll tell more, it, it was a lot, but my big mama saved my life, do y'all hear me, she saved my life because she instilled in me that I was somebody, I was somebody, and I mean, y'all, just the, it was, I'm telling you, she was like my life coach. She was. She was my life coach. And that's what we've got to be for other kids. It may not even be your grandkids, your child. You've got to stop as an elder in your family and an elder or responsible one in your family. Because it may not be you're an elder in your family. You may be the responsible one in your family. And you've got to assess the need. And when you assess the needs, you will stop and see that the need is great for a big mom 
So you may not even be old, but you may be the one. You know, to 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 build them up, to push them when the world tear them down, push them back out there, build them up, push them back out. Because the world is gonna do that. The world is cruel. Y'all know that. But you've got to assess the situation, assess and build. I'm t that that's what has to happen. It has to happen. You know, so assess your family. Assess the young women. Assess the young men that are in your life or that you may become involved with. Assess them. And you assess them by observing them. You assess them by talking to them. You assess them by just really listening, looking, hearing. The world will tear them down. It's your job to build them up. So you build them up and push them back out there. You owe it to your next generation to do that. All right, y'all, let me get off this horn. It's been great. I'll come again. Y'all, I have plenty of stories to tell because life has not always been peaches and cream for me. Um, it really hasn't. It's been good. But there were some bumps along the way. Alright, y'all. And I will holler at y'all in the next video. Alright. Stay tuned for more. Alright, y'all.